Since rugby version kicks off this weekend with an expanded number of matches at the elevation of Western Bulls and Kenyatta University's Black Blood, the 12 teams will play round robin matches each. Defending champions Kenya Harlequins will open their title defense against Bulls at the FUA on Saturday. Kenya Harlequins, who have won the Kenya Cup eight times, will be the team to watch during the 2012 2013 season. The Queens have dominated the Cup since 2010 and it will require another strong world team to end their run in the longer version of the game. The teams will have to endure a series of matches this time round since they'll be home and away matches. Black Blood and Western Bulls join the other experienced 10 teams, making the total number of teams to be 12. It's going to be played on a home and away, um, sorry, on a, on a one-off basis. Every team plays each other and then we have a, a playoff in the top four. I like the seventh version of the game where sponsors have been trickling in. The longer version is yet to attract any and the Kenya Rugby Union is calling on the corporate world to give it some consideration. That is why we keep developing our league to fit, to entice the sponsors. That is why this national outlook is very, very important. Kenya Cup itself currently doesn't have a title sponsor, but the individual clubs have these sponsors. So the message to the corporate community out there is that there is a, a, a property that is available. Pool A has Queens, Strathmore, Mwamba, Machine, Homeboys and Western Bulls, while Pool B will have KCB, Nakuru, Nordis, Impala, Kisumu and Black Blood. Still in rugby, the Kenyan national 15 aside team climbed up one place in the IRB rankings from position 38 to 37. Neighbors Uganda still passed at position 41.